On to the next all one. Alright, so, as you're all familiar with, we have done this game before in our first episode. Batman? And Batman. Yeah. Oh, Batman. What episode? What is the episode? <laughs> It's it's already on YouTube. Where is it? It's on it. It's on YouTube. Where, where is it? YouTube board game guys can't. Bad bad. Bad bad. All right. So how about um, Rob? You chime us in on. Uh, so really what's bad. in the box? What's in the box? That's what it was. <laughs> I don't know what? what's going on. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm bad. Okay. So not this box. Super simple. Okay. You get the cards already split up into categories when they come in. You get the compartments. You get the, how to sort it? How to sort it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't get the uh, again, don't get the sleeves. Once again, recommend dragon sleeves if you have the money. If you don't got the money, deck protectors are just as good. Those are deck protectors, get, actually. These are deck protectors. These are also the heroes that you get and the starter deck. It's pretty simple. Uh, my first Notice complaint. Notice the. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> and then, like, they, they, have, like it, they both have quick plays and it, like. But it, it reflects so very harder. opposite of the box. Yeah, but it, yeah, like, yeah, but it, it reflects super the size complex. Of the box. No, <laughs> straight to the point. <laughs> Big book. Damn, I forgot where I was. Yeah, <laughs> where did I leave off? This comes in the box. You just this comes in the box. That comes in the box. In the box. Uh, unlike the Marvel deck building game, uh, whereas if you don't sleeve up your decks, you will have room for your expansions in there. In this one, you're, not you're, you're you keeping your expansion yeah. in a like, separate box. This is the whole thing. Although, my guess is, as much like any other games, you can customize your your main decks. So It's it's pretty easy to customize games like these because their expansions... Also, their expansions will probably come with a box that fits the expansion in it. Yeah. It just kind of sucks when you merge them because then you have to be like, ah. Because if you merge... Ah. When you merge them, then you just keep one of your boxes as your main box. This is what I do for Star Trek. You keep one of your main boxes as your main box... You customize your own decks, you customize everything, and then that's what you're playing with. Yeah, I think it's a pretty simple format. I liked that they gave us the gu you gave you the guide um, of where to put stuff, even though it's a minimal amount of categories. And I liked that it was sorted. When I opened this up, it took me ten minutes to get everything done, and then four days to sleep. Sleeping only takes about thirty minutes, but four days if you're me. <laughs> right. <laughs> four days if you're Vish. One day if you're anybody else. Right. Um, it was really cool that everything came. My only only problem these don't have sleeves yet cryptozoic this is your second no third game because penny arcade the deck building game has one of these twice make sleeves Three nobody wants to see this i don't want stuff bent by him this comes in a sleeve kind of okay yeah by him <laughs> right so uh pretty simple what's in the box um like rob pretty much covered it all uh i guess we'll go into um how easy it is to learn uh this is how easy it is to learn. Uh, if you know how to play the game within five minutes, say I. I. You taught people today. I taught like five people today. It took me three yeah. minutes. If you know how to play, if you know how to play any other deck builder, you know how to play this game. Yeah. If you know how to play any other deck builder, doesn't matter what deck builder it is. If you know how to play it, you know how to play this game. You'll have to be like, how do I play this game? People will be like, this is how you play the game. You do this, you do this, you do this. Someone will be like, oh hey, that's just like this game. And then they're like, no, actually, it's like this game. And then the other guy will be like, no, actually, it's like this game. You know how to play it if you know how to play other games. And then if you ask Kevin, he'll be like, oh. And then if you ask Kevin, he'll be like, oh, it's like Ascension. Pretty much. I, I've never played Ascension. Shut and up! <laughs> Nobody cares! Shoot! <laughs> when I played... No, what part of that didn't you get? Well, no. Shh. No, I no, you have don't. a voice! <laughs> um... Oh, you I... came prepared for this one. Yeah, well, yeah, we played it before. Are you sure? I... Or did Batman play it? Oh. I've played it before, as but far as Batman was uh, just because Batman was in the was in the movie doesn't mean I don't know how to play the game. Um, the movie. <laughs> we made a movie. We made a movie. <laughs> well, we made a movie. Feature length. Um, <laughs> feature length YouTube movie. When wow. we were learning the game and I was trying to figure out like the rules, like how does this work and how does that work? It was so overbearingly simple that I was even like, Kevin could figure it out. Well, <laughs> not what I was gonna say, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um, this I was, head. I, I was overthinking. Just gotta. Yeah. Like, so so I don't. I don't need to. No no. It's just very. <laughs> do that. Oh. Not even any deck builder. If you've played with a card, a, I mean you can cut a paper card and just put it on the table. <laughs> okay. It's it not is that just easy. easy. It's that easy. Oh, it's pretty. The easy. only <laughs> it's thing. Pretty easy. The oh, only God. thing that actually makes it even remotely complicated is the heroes. It's not made the by a only deck. thing. When you get into advanced gameplay, is but, when 
well, you get into the, sim the, the lack of simplicity. But the simplicity of this game is ridiculous. Like, it's the basics awesome. of playing the game is ridiculously easy. Okay. So, I think on we that. covered that subject. Gameplay, 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 gameplay. I'm going to give you a chance here, Kevin, and if you upper deck, I'm, I get to headbutt you. <laughs> uh oh. Chances are, I'm going to upper deck pretty hard. <laughs> Talk about uh, gameplay. I know there's. Well, I knew you would do that to me because. I know that there's punches and kicks <laughs> and how many punches are there? Bunches of punches. In the game bunches or punches. in the game? Oh, I think he's looking know. for the bunches of like punches. Answer. Twelve? <laughs> Is it twelve? Somebody just whisper me the answer. Just pretend like I'm not. Bunches, bunches. There's a bunch of punches. Bunches. 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 I think you're gonna get head, bud. I I've been <laughs> anticipating since he proposed the idea. <laughs> I am currently in, like... Kevin! Scottish knot! Kevin! Kevin! Yeah. Kevin. Yeah. There's this many punches. Yeah. That's bunches okay. of punches. Okay, so... <laughs> the gameplay of this game. Very simple lineup base. might have vulnerabilities in Right? There. So, you go. <laughs> Everybody starts off hey there. with... <laughs> eight... Punches. Bunches, bunches of punches. punches. Seven so, punches. They each count for one currency, but... We just had an upper deck happen. It's seven punches and three vulnerabilities. Does that mean right. I get to headbutt you? Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh. I'm going to discuss. Right? Uh, so, I'm going to discuss now. Now, the whole thing is, you use these currency to buy cards from the lineup. It's simple lineup based. There's no... The villains and the heroes are all together in this game. And you Except just flip them over villains. five at a time. And you buy or defeat things from... Yes, it could be used as a sandwich as well. Now, with this, you have vulnerabilities that are pretty much null and void cards in your hand that you start off with. Like wounds. Yeah. Do shit. You have, but you start off with these wounds in, to represent the weakness in battle, right? In addition to this, you start off with a hero. Now, now the basic gameplay, that's pretty much it. Um, you can add negative one point co values because this is a point value based deck building game like every other one. So at the end of the game, you count up your points in the game and you have a good time. Whoever wins, usually not Kevin. Uh, sometimes Andrew and yeah. usually Rob because he's all like, DC! Right? Um, I'm not like, DC! If you watch the video, you won, jackass. Actually, we're still on to be continued. But oh, that is true. Da -na -na -na. <laughs> I, thought you were, I thought you were about to start the X Men theme song. Okay, this is not my fault. This is for people who were playing. <laughs> so, basically, what happens is, in my opinion of the gameplay, it's so simple and so easy to learn. You can run through in two hours at least four to five games. Unless the game goes really, 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 really slow. Or long, right. because it sometimes, you know, people... Are it can go longer it. and such. You can also lengthen the amount of gameplay that you have by the supervillains. So the supervillains are kind of like the masterminds, where they stay outside of the game, you can purchase the supervillain from the game. You have to play with a minimum of eight, but you can play with all 12, which lengthen the game significantly, because you have to wait until all the supervillains are purchased until the game ends, and you count up your final value. Or you run out of buy deck. Yeah. The one thing about this is the game is very, very dictated by who has the most supervillains, because they have the most point values, so it really, really depends on who gets the most, because their effects are also broken. The lowest Well, I wouldn't say broken, but, like, they're they're really good. I mean, there's Some a couple of them are, are pretty broken, like, uh... Parallax is pretty good. Parallax busted. is double your currency for the whole turn. Yeah. So like you can get 24 currency and double it to 48. It's ridiculous. But, like, the, the rest of the villains, they're not as shop. busted. Like, some some are pretty dumb. But, like, I mean, Raja Ghoul is, is like, plus five attack. Uh, but that's because he's the first. Plus, yeah, but yeah. Luther is draw three cards. I mean, that's that's good, but it's not busted. But the whole thing is, is some of them, that because they have copy abilities in here, when they're copied, they yeah, end up when being copied, pretty ridiculous. Card. Like, Clayface, the villain, he copies something. You copy Luther, you're drawing six cards. It's yeah. pretty ridiculous. Right. The cool thing about this <laughs> game too, it has a pretty low MSRP of twenty nine ninety five and thirty nine ninety five. It's anywhere ranging in between that, depending on if it's sale or not. And right? if you come in Teddy, me and you buy, you get this cool promo card, which was only given out at Cryptozoic Game Days, and now they distribute it if you buy the game. Now this is an extra hero card, and his his like effects like all the other heroes, they're it's really good. Like 
every hero gives you a way to build your deck, right. which is kind of cool for openers. I'm gonna have to say the best, the best characters that you can use. Flash, Flash. is really good. Flash is the best. Wonder Woman. Woman's gross. Cyborg is gross. Batman. He gives you two effects. Aquaman's pretty yeah, good too. Much like much like <clears throat> Superman, he's too reliant. These are the four best heroes in the game. Most well rounded, yeah. Like so basically Everybody else is way too specific. Right? Like now, if you're playing the so game. Pretty much the same. Yeah. yeah. If you're playing the game and you have four players guaranteed, just randomly shuffle these and have a good time. Yeah. If you are playing a four player game and you don't know anything about the game, shuffle all of them and you'll have a you'll have a good time too. But if someone gets Batman, pretty much just um, don't let them buy equipment. Yeah, get chloroform <laughs> and knock them out. That's equipment. But I mean, if you're playing with, but they're getting with Wonder Woman. Bat you're bat if you're yeah. playing with Wonder Woman, you're buying, you're drawing like a crap ton of cards. Same thing with Flash. Because when we played, I played as Aquaman, and the ability just to put stuff on top of your deck, and not having to wait. Although there is one really a time cool factor to draw in this. It is awesome. Because then you get to use that right next. Because you get. Huh, let me just find them all. Here. Because they're all in here. So. Oh, yeah. Each hero has their own thing, like, right? Yeah. They like, all have... Usually, when you buy they all something... Have a separate, they all have a separate card for them. That you can purchase. Buy deck. That you can actually purchase. So you can purchase the characters. In usually, when you buy something, it goes to your graveyard. And then when your deck runs out, you shuffle it back and that's your deck again. But, like, with Aquaman, if it costs... Ooh, three or less? Five or less. Five or less. Mm -hmm. If it costs five or less, you can put it on top of your deck instead. So you don't have to wait, like, three, four turns. Especially later in the to game. To get that super awesome piece yeah, you get just that picked power. up. You just oh, put it on top of my deck. And you can do it like, I'm buying multiple things, they're all going on top of my deck. Yeah. And I just set up my hand for next turn and do it again. You were saying, um... Combo, combo Aquaman with yeah. Parallax. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my hand set up. <laughs> right, so what Rob's getting for us is uh, the individual heroes that you can purchase from the actual game itself. So these heroes just kind of nip it in the butt. If you get this and that's your matching hero, it helps your gameplay in the whole thing. So, like, they each pretty much coincide with what the other one yeah. does, right? So if it's equipment-based, their hero card that you purchase is equipment-based. If it's draw-based, you draw cards. So it just benefits you even more. So if you get that hero, buy their cards. The only one that's different is John Jones. He's the only one that doesn't do what his card does. Aquaman doesn't either. No, he does a yes, variation does. of it, doesn't no. he? No, you destroy a card and you just got a file and you get... Oh, no, it's just Trident card. that does the yeah. same thing. Also, right. destroy cards in this game is huge. The thing you destroy in this game, is, There's not a lot of destroy cards in this game, so if you see them, get them. They're really good. Um, closing things on gameplay? Same thing with draw. Draw is really powerful. Draw is really powerful in this game, too. Gameplay? It's a quick game to learn. It's a pretty fun game to play, too. Right. Replayability? Yay or nay? One, two, three. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Okay, now, um, packaging yes. and graphics. Yes. So, artistic director, Kevin. Well, I mean... Can I say something about this box? Yeah. Okay. It's ugly. Okay. This artistic picture... Actually this, a different this picture, the new 52 picture, has yeah. been overused so many times... It really they, has been. I will agree there. they something else to put on the well, box. Well, what, what else do you expect them that to promote? Is, it's the I, just I understand, but they could have put a different picture. Like, this picture itself... Is everywhere. But it's, it's like the you picture, look at the I trading mean, card, the the trading cards for from Cryptozoic. It's the exact same picture, just a different color background. It's because it's the best possible way to get all but those. Also, out Justice League out on guys, to be honest page. though, there are on like when this came out, they were on like issue thirteen of Justice League. There's a lot of really cool Justice League pictures too. It's true, right? Like and I I'm, do I'm see where. And I'm sure, I'm sure there's multiple good stock images too. That they yeah, have. like they could have well, used sure. multiple things. This but, is my main issue with this one right now, though, is. Um, the art on the cards is amazing, of course. Like you could have used because it's picture. new Fifty Two art. My only yeah. issue is, is I think I would have rather seen one. some new art. I, yeah, yeah. I think I think if they're doing this, Cryptozoic should like. I mean, you could have just as easily gotten uh, Jim Lee or any anybody yeah, else to to just. So draw. Kevin, what do you think about the lining and digital coloring? Well, I really like that. <laughs> It's not like I said, not nearly as busy, and I mean, it's like you said, it's a very overused stock footage of the new 52 pictures. But I mean, I guess I like the new 52 art, so I mean, I'm not complaining too much about it. I feel like take away from the fact that it's a comic book game and look at it as a game. Yeah. It's a very appealing box. It, I couldn't walk by that without recognizing it as such. Whereas you, I couldn't tell yeah. you how many times that I one, walked by this game this and didn't even realize it had all the Avengers on it. 
It's also just in two of months. The art style. In here, huge, huge wording. It says deck building game on it. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. In two months of filming this podcast with uh, Kevin, that's the most useful thing you've ever said. Well, yeah. No headbutt. Do I win my phone back? Dude. No, no, no. no. Oh, okay. I've been trying to give it back to you. You're not paying attention. So, no. Um, so, now we're just going to go into open discussion about the two. All right. I'll start off with saying Marvel Legendary is more entertaining than DC. Why? It has more replayability and more variabilities. Right? Wow, that's a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> and it's bigger. Yeah. Now DC's what now? bigger. What now? <laughs> I will argue my own fact is that Cryptozoic is a better company than Upper Deck. They stole World of Warcraft TCG, and they're going to steal this. Probably not. Hopefully. That yeah. would actually... Fingers I crossed. Would, I would totally <laughs> support crossed. that. Um, so if we're doing a choice... Upper Deck, hire me. The Marvel zombie in me wants to pick Legendary because it's Marvel, and oh, all of my favorite characters are in there. Oh, is Rob about to make his pick? Strategically wise... I mean, they're both pretty equal. I'd actually give it up to both of them. I honestly, I like. I, Is that I your like pick? Fish, I'm going. I want both of them. Okay. Well, I own both of them. But what would you pick? What would I pick? Yes. Honestly, I would pick both of them. I think they're okay. both just as equally. I think they're both equally just as good. If you're gonna hold my, if you're gonna twist my arm about it, legendary. Okay, we got one point for legendary. Two Andrew. points for legendary. Well, you voted for legendary too. Being, no, I haven't. being a DC oh, yeah. fan myself, uh, <laughs> and not too impressed with Marvel, but this game is actually it's pretty good. Um, I've only played this a couple times, but the way it plays out, what I could see happening is the same thing that happens when you play Ascension. It just gets stale. Um, where this, at least for a longer period of time, there's going to be some variation. I think once as you can pick. I think once expansions comes out, it's well, going to yeah. be a different story. But, but Legendary's already announced their expansion, yeah, DC while hasn't DC yet. hasn't. They've just been sucking their own thumb. Well, you know what it is? It's it's not necessarily Cryptozoic's fault. DC is notorious for this kind of thing. Yeah. They'll, they'll release one product, and it takes them forever before they'll yeah. open the next. And it's not Cryptozoic's fault, but we I will have to say, if Upper Deck doesn't Upper Deck and actually release their expansion... It could push it. It could push, it push like... It, it could push it... Like, um, but Kevin. So back to my thoughts on the game. Oh, yeah, it's, it's still his. <laughs> um, I I don't like sitting there for like three hours and only playing two games. I'd rather have multiple games in at that time. <coughs> so myself, I'd have to go with this one. We got two to one, Kevin. Um. Well, again, we'll start like everyone else. Aside from being a Marvel fanboy over DC, um. I just feel like both games on the table, the way we, they're played, uh, the way they're set up, I just feel like, to reiterate your point, uh, you're going to get more variety out of this. They're, not to say that both games don't have replayability, I'm just saying this one's probably going to end up with more replayability. Just because it's, yeah, again, uh, repeating, eventually that's going to get real stale. And I found that where we were four games in and we go, all right, let's go for game four. And I'm like, do we need to? I feel like it's games one through three again versus this. It's it's going to have so much more to it. Uh, I'm going to be drawn right to the Marvel aspect of it, sure. But on the whole, I feel like I'd side with Legendary. So overall, we've got myself, Kevin, and Rob going with Marvel Legendary and Andrew going to DC. Overall, uh, so Legendary wins the belt for the day. Right, uh, but overall, I would say both games are really good. If you're looking for a quick fix, go with DC. If you're looking for a full game night, go with Marvel. And at the end of the day, they are both worth owning, right? And they are both really great, well done games. Upper Deck, hire me and release this before 2025. <laughs> Cryptozoic, kick DC in the balls. Thank you. Uh, once again, this is board game, guys. Uh, this no, was. I had no Oh. Rob finishing off and he'll close us. Oh, okay. Finish him. Finish off. The only other point I want to talk, especially in the uh, <laughs> <laughs> the only point I want to make, especially in the well, they game, can't see me on camera. In yeah, um yeah. in production, <laughs> Marvel actually gives away. Oh god. I'm listening. Damn it. How are you? Marvel Marvel doesn't actually pay too much attention to their product. They don't have as much say. Whereas DC, it's part of their contract. They have a lot more say in the product. 
that's why it's possible to see the expansion for Marvel sooner than we'll see the expansion for see, DC. I like that, though. I like that they're paying attention to what's coming out under their name, where Marvel's just like, ah, we'll let Upper Deck happen. Because yeah, it's something that happens we'll a lot. We'll release Fantastic Four. <laughs> it's, it's, something that, it's something that happens a lot in Hero Clicks. That's why, that's why the DC Hero Clicks are so firm. There's a lot. Time. But there's so many Marvel. Yeah, there's a lot of Marvel. Because Marvel just doesn't care. Yeah. But Marvel, Marvel's just like... The- it's our name. Well, it's 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 like Not it's our name on the luck. product. We're good. <laughs> How many times have you gone bankrupt, Marvel? Uh, about the same amount of times as DC's gone bankrupt. No. Yeah. They've gone bankrupt more than that. No. And neither have gone bankrupt. Marvel was okay. Close. Marvel has come close a Actually, lot DC's of times. Come, DC's come close too. So. Yeah, but they're also not. Okay, and so uh, in closing, before uh, we turn into comic books, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like we're turning. To, welcome to Board Game Guide Comics. Board Game, board game awesome. Guy Comic Book Man. Guys, don't get ideas. All right, Why? so that would be basically, awesome. yeah. Guys, stop it! Where are you coming from? Comic book land. He would. He, he right. Would be brown. So, legendary takes it away this <laughs> time. But who knows? You might see DC come back and try and bout it again. But for now, both games are really great. But the majority of the board game guys would choose legendary over DC. Uh, so thank you for tuning into board game guys this week, and we hope to see you next week for our next episode.